Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Okay, well, we have a drop sheet. This old map um, is going to serve as my drop sheet. And I am just gonna do some um, paint swatching. Uh, I'm using this children's watercolor that is floating around my house from my children. Do you believe they are now, uh, well, they have children of their own, let's put it that way. <laughs> But I have these still floating around in my stash and I figure it's time to use it up. So what I am going to do is, like I say, just color swatch. Um, nothing specific, um, just whatever colors grab my fancy. I'm going to be mixing and matching and doing whatever I just want to do. Um, in the end of the day once they're dry i will doodle over them and use them as little pieces of ephemera so that's the plan um i am doing all my color swatching on this particular book page um i have a bunch of them here they have been um had white acrylic paint just scraped over them um just so would probably be a better surface i do not have any so i'm just using white acrylic paint so they were done some months ago. They've just been sitting around my room. Um, I pulled them out today and thought, you know what, I'm gonna color swatch. So that's what I'm going to do. If you enjoy watching that kind of thing, yay for you. <laughs> Cause that's what's gonna be happening. <laughs> I will come back and show you me doodling on a few at the end, just so that you can see the finished product. But um, mostly I'm just going to leave them as they are for today. So, anyway guys, sit back, relax and enjoy. You will notice that there is no care being taken here specifically. Um, I don't even wash my brush. I am just going from color to color and letting them blend and mix. And I mean, to be honest, browns and grungy looks are my thing anyway. So if I end up with mud, well, mud is perfectly acceptable in, <laughs> in my world. So yeah, but um, yeah, I'm not really taking much care um, in between colors. I'm just changing swapping and changing as I want to.
Right, that's the last one I'm going to do today. Um, I am going to now put these aside, let them dry for a few hours. And I will come back and show you the result. And then we will do a little bit of doodling and show you exactly what I'm going to do with them. Um, this time around, I'm going to do botanical doodles, but you're not limited to that. You can doodle anything you like on them. Okay, that was some stills of these. <laughs> now I am going to run and find a pen because of course I didn't think to prepare that earlier. Um, <laughs> I do try a few pens here. Um, I struggle with a couple of pens until I find one that is happy to doodle on this watercolor paint um, and acrylic paint, I guess, that's under it. So. Um, yeah, it's just trial and error until you find something that works nicely with the surface that you want it to be writing on. Now I quite often do botanical doodles so it's not really too much of a drama for me. Um, I have to sort of sit here and think about what I want to draw but um, yeah actually having the confidence to do it is not too much of an issue for me. If that is not the case for you, um, you could do the same thing but um, maybe use a, a stamp uh, rather than doodle on it yourself if you feel more comfortable find a little botanical stamp or a little postage stamp stamp or you know, a number stamp or whatever you would like to use um, yeah and like I say you don't have to do little botanical doodles um, you could just do stripes or dots or stars or you know any kind of mark making um, this works with anything like that so yeah don't limit yourself just do whatever you know comes naturally to you or makes you feel comfortable or goes with whatever it is you intend to use these to make.
right that's where I'm going to leave the doodling today and I am just going to tear these apart because that's what I will do with them in the end of the day I will tear them into small pieces so one little doodle per piece and I will use them like that as just little embellishments um, yeah you could also leave these just as they are and not doodle on them and just use them as paint swatches or tear them into strips and use them as you know, little strips on a tag or something so possibilities are endless you can do whatever you choose so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this little project we've done it before and I'm sure we will do it again and <laughs> I um I just needed some time out today to just do something mindless and I very much enjoyed it so I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thanks so much for coming along with me and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.